Hey guys, Dante here, and welcome back to an edition of the Burgos Arts Reviews. So, as mentioned in a previous really short video, I bought tickets for Big Apple Comic Con, and with said ticket came a coupon for the store known as Sideshow Collectibles. Side, uh, now, Sideshow Collectibles is mainly figurines. Um, Batman, Spider-Man, Magneto, all, all those pop culture figurines, super detailed. And, of course, a number of statuettes as well. But, I have no place to put said figurines and statuettes. I got too many to begin with. So, I went for the art model. And it says right there, Art model, Sideshow Collectibles, 6th scale. Uh, basically meaning this guy is about, or this girl actually, is about 12 inches tall. Uh, as with any review, quick look at the box, you get a nice shot of the model inside. Ball plastic, ball joints, we'll look more into that. Stylized box art, very nice. Photographs of her posing. Photographs of the male model, which I might also get posing. More in the back, pose, 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 art model, art model, yada, yada, yada. Let's get to the good point. Let's get to the good stuff. Because, ooh, it's an art model. It's so much, it's so, so nice. So much nicer than what you find in regular art stores. Pocket knife, and let's open this guy up. Bam. Okay. You open it up, slides right out. Yeah, no extra information. Get rid of that. Ah, comes with a uh, stand as well. And let me see, a few pieces of plastic keeping her in there. Let's slice those up. I hate these things. Let's cut these things open. Whatever happened to Twisty Ties? Remember Twisty Ties? You know, they, they kept all your figurines in place. Now it's these stupid little... Plastic, they're like rubber bands, but they're plastic instead. I can't stand them. They're too annoying. And they don't cut very well. Come on now. Ah, be aggressive. Be very aggressive. Oh gosh, she has one on her neck. Anyway, let's, you know, let's turn it over. There it is. She is taped all kind of ways in there. Rip that sucker apart. Be free, my beautiful darling. Oh, there we go. There's a twist tie. We're gonna speed through this. Let's go. Okay, so here is our beautiful model out of her box. She does come with a model stand. I'm gonna separate the model stand for now. And of course, there it is again, saying Sideshow Collectibles Art Model. The stand is a, your standard kind of um, Barbie doll stand. It does not plug into the model, it just loops around the waist. Which allows you to get basic standing poses pretty well, but if you're looking for dynamic, having a kick across, you know, across the air and stuff like that, uh, good luck trying to get her to stay on this. This, when we let her stand, let her do certain standing poses, but not mid-air acrobatics. Now for the model herself, we'll start with the face. Come on, there we go, focus. It is a, a nice, simple, you know, kind of blank expression face. Really well detailed in the ears. For those of you who have trouble drawing the fine details there. There's not much up and down movement. Like that's as much up you're gonna get, that's as much down, it's pretty much forward. That's a bummer. I was hoping they could put a second joint in the base of the neck to really have a look downward and arch downward, but I guess not. The head spins, and you do get a bit of a tilt. Kind of a, huh? What? Kind of tilt. The arms, on your standard um, two-point uh, joint, meaning it goes up and down, and said piece also goes all the way around. You have a bicep swizzle, uh, swivel, swizzle, swizzle. You have a bicep swivel, 
bring it up uh, back and forth, slapping motion, slap, slap, slap. And a pretty decent double jointed elbow. It goes about that much. Now the wrist has a bend here, goes up back and forth, but the wrist turn is set separately and lower right here. And here's the weird thing. This affects both arms and even the same kind of setup in the legs. This, oh, come on, focus now. Focus. There we go. This has a bit of an openness to it. I mean, it's not loose. You turn it, give it a shake, it stays that way. Turn it, give it a shake, it's not spinning. But on both arms, it has this kind of wiggle waggle because it's not completely flush with the rest of the plastic, which is kind of odd. Now, you might notice that she actually has two sets of sculpted hands. One is semi-closed, one is, well, semi-open. And they're very nicely sculpted, much like the ears. You can see all the details, the wrinkles in the arms. I'm sorry, the wrinkles in the palm. Fingernails as well. Same thing here. Let me see. Let's see if we can see her knuckles. It's very nice detail on the, on the hands. We go to the legs. Almost the exact same setup as the arms. You have an outward movement, up and down, which of course allows you to do big splits. You have a um, thigh swivel that goes around, double jointed knees, about yay much, pretty good. There's that weird opening in this joint I mentioned, but once again, you spread them out, give her a shake. Those feet are not spinning, so that's what really counts. And speaking of spinning feet, her, her, she has the meanest ankle tilt. But she has no real up and down on the foot. That's a bummer. And the foot is a solid sculptor, a uh, piece of sculpture. It's once again, really well done. But you can't have her bending her foot in a regular walking stance the way your foot would bend right here at the arch. That's a bit of a bummer. Now the waist is interesting. And let's let, oh, by the way, by the way, let's get the um, let's get the elephant out the room, okay? There, are you guys all happy? Let's move on. She bends at the top of the ribcage, or sorry, base of the ribcage, around. She bends at the waist, around. She has nice basic sculpture, nothing too crazy, no heavy muscles, but enough meat and curvature to, you know, look realistic. Even got a belly button. Now, there seems to be a weird kind of maybe elastic band going through her because she tends to snap back. So you could have a turn all the way around, but then watch. Let's see if I can make it do it. Turn, turn. Oh, you saw that? How she just snaps back. Same thing here. She kind of snaps back. So you could get you could get a decent pose, but it's a little tricky because if you want a gentle turn, you have to kind of turn one a little bit, the bottom a bit more, and hope it doesn't just go whoa, and just you know do a straight up. Falcon punch across the room. But yeah, so that's a bit odd there. That's your that's your ab crunch right there. And that's as far back you could go without damaging her. Now you might have noticed this weird clicking noise, watch. That that clicking noise. She has this little stopper, if you would. Above her tuchus, which has her branded with the name brand. Anyway, I don't know if you can read that. But yeah, a little stopper, which I guess is meant to be her standard resting pose. It really accentuates the curve of the back, which is nice. Uh, but to go past it, you can always go past it if you don't like that. So that's pretty good too. I'm going to put her in the stand and let's see if we can get her to do... You know, some basic poses, because like I said, the stand just wraps around her waist, so she ain't going to be doing any flying kicks anytime soon. Going to have her look out into the distance. Oh. Once again, have her stand just hold. 
basically you just hold those feet like that. Let me see if I could tilt her back a little bit. That way she's looking. There we go. Oh, bit of a oddity there. Let's turn that foot out. Yeah, she stands very well. You know, with the aid of this, of course. So, as of right now, I think she is a pretty good art model. Um, figurine, that is. So you could probably use her for a number of references, comic books, and whatnot. She's definitely an improvement above your standard wooden art model that every store still sells and people still buy them. I mean, you get the basics. In fact, I think this has a better tilt than she does at the waist. But of course, the arms are always limited on these. You can't really do much. Like, you could go up. You can't go out. On her, you can. Basically, they took the modern construction work of a figurine and put it into an art model. In fact, for many years, I've used this guy as an art model because of his articulation. This is a freaking Tobey Maguire Spider-Man figurine. And I've used him because of all the articulation he has, which is pretty much the equivalent of this, except I'll admit he has... He has a little toe bend, which I wish she had. That's the one bad thing about this model. She doesn't have much articulation in the feet. So when you do a running pose, you're going to have to just make up the rest. But overall, she's still very good. Spider-Man goes away. Wooden model. Who can't... He's, he's, he's trying desperately. He can't even... Hold on. Let's see if he can do this. Can you do it? Eh, yeah, close enough. What a model goes away. But yes. Let's turn her forward for a minute. She's looking back at you. Hey. Anyway, guys. Uh, my review, I say decent model. You might want to buy one. She was about 29 and change. Uh, that's not including the shipping. So 29 and change on the website. She'll definitely come in handy. Her overall scale, her overall scale really helps uh, when you're doing the posing. And I'm, I hope to get some good use out of this figurine. So, once again, guys, I am Dante. Like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Later.